Good afternoon. Welcome back. I am Luke Tour FM, as always. I hope you all have a nice weekend. Sorry, it's it's a Monday and we're all back at work, but I hope you're all having a nice Monday as best as you can. The weather's getting better, so at least there's that. And people who are watching this video, hopefully I'll cheer you up a little bit. So, but yeah, hope you're okay. I'm currently managing, as we know, I'm currently managing social, not signing any players, just using the players from my youth academy and the players I've got already in the squad. So it's, uh, we're in the second season. We're currently eighth place in the league after 21 games played. And we've got 27 points. We've won seven games, drawn six games and lost eight. So our season, our club vision, the objectives for the club vision is to just avoid relegation from League Two. So we're, we're more on, we're definitely on track for that. So we don't need to worry about that. The board's happy. The fans seem relatively, the sports seem quite happy as well. And the only thing is, is the fans want me to play a defensively solid football but that doesn't work for me so yeah so other than that just wanted to say thank you as always for supporting me following me watching the videos liking the videos leaving comments it, it all helps so after this i'm going to uh, sorry coming up next i'm going to be playing the first game of the episode which is against strasbourg so it'll be a very tough game, but hopefully we can get something out of it. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, so here we are. Here's the lineup for the game against Strasbourg. Poplow, Poplow, sorry. I think it's Pop, uh, Popo, sorry, Popo, the W there. But I don't know whether, I think, I don't know if it's anybody from Poland or Polish speaking people. Can you just let me know if that W is meant to be pronounced as a V? But I'm going to call him Popow for now. And then we've got Galvez as right back. He had me in central defence with Bossy. This is Bossy, Jeremy Bossy. Hopefully he'll be able to boss the defence. Bit of bunch. Yeah, I know, that was rubbish. I can't think of anything else. And they've got Bastian as left back, Drame and Viltard in the centre of the field. Weisbeck on the right, Hazard on the left, Katara and Kofi up front. So a very familiar looking team here. Let's hope that it's strong enough to get something out of this game. Strasbourg obviously got relegated last season from so they are probably one of the favourites to bounce back. I think they're currently top of the yeah, they are top. Lyon, they've risen up to second now. Oh, look at the teams here. You've got Strasbourg, Lyon, Bordeaux, Troyes. Troyes in real life have just recently got relegated to the net the, the tier down from League Two, the one we were just in the National. But some strong teams here in that league. And it does we hopefully we can get in the playoffs, but I can't see it happening. You've got Paris FC as well, Orkserva, JC, Erzin, Sayin. I keep calling them K and there's Sayin in it. Strasbourg all over us. I dread to think who is going to get relegated from League 1 because I wasn't expecting Leon or Strasbourg to get relegated and they did. So you just got to hope rubbish teams get relegated from League 1, which is hard to say because there is no rubbish teams in League 1 really. Very strong league. If anybody gets relegated from there, they're automatically going to be favourites to go back up. Amiens, bloody hell, bottom of the League 2. That's surprising. Strasbourg all over us. I feel like they're just going to... There you go. Cher Nador, who at one point I think was at Benfica. Yeah, Atlanta, Benfica, PSG, Bra, now Strasbourg. His career's kind of gone downhill a little bit, but maybe he'll resurrect it here at Strasbourg. I just feel like we're just not got the quality to to be good enough to beat these these at the moment which is good though because it kind of gives me an idea how good this team is at the moment because if we go up into league one for instance with this team probably not going to be staying in that league for very long because i think we'll probably get relegated All right so Weisbeck had to come off and put Carzenti on the right. Hopefully he'll impress me. All right, let's try encouraging the players see if that will see how we get on hopefully the second half will be a brighter one for us Strasbourg with the first highlight of the second half. What are you doing? What is our goalkeeper doing there? That, that, no, I'm sorry, but that, that is ridiculous. Hold on. Let's change the camera angle behind the goal. I really want to see what the hell this goalkeeper was thinking then. Slow it right down. There we go. All right, so here's the goal again. Did he punch it out? I think he might punch it out. Well, he's going to get a telling off. All right, in fact, he's going to come off. Charlie, Charlie Dosso on there. Zard can come off. You're playing rubbish as well. Bill Tard. Oh, we can't take more players. I feel like our best bet is to basically go very defensive now. Just kind of just trying to not try not to extend this lead for Strasbourg. Oh, I need to change the camera on the back. Sorry, everybody. I apologise for that. I wonder what the hell was going on there. Do a bit of time wasted. They're just so, so... They're just... Look at that. I mean, that was ridiculous. That deserves a replay. Go behind the goal again. Slow it down. Let's replay this. I'd be 
ecstatic right now if I was the Strasbourg manager. It was great ball. And then he just went, uh, oh well, three nil. Just have to uh, chalk this one up to experience. It's still eight though, so at least it's that. Neck and neck on points with only a couple of points behind Angers and Grenoble. Nowhere near a JCO, so maybe we're looking at top 10 finish this season. I mean, I wasn't expecting us to be humiliated like this. And they'll probably score another goal before it's all seven. I mean, look at that. Four shots the whole game. One on target. That just tells you everything you need to know. We've just not been in this game at all. Oh, well. Not the best way to start. The episode will get better. Because we won't be playing teams like Strasbourg every game. We'll just see how it goes. But, yeah. Very humble in defeat there. All right. I'll see you in a sec. All right. So, we've got FC Ruin now. So, I'm hoping, fingers crossed... We should win this game, get back on track. Usual lineup by the looks of it. Bossy staying in centre defence for now. Tete's in for in for Wise Bear. Other nice ways the same as last game. Which is not a bad thing. Let's hope our goalkeeper doesn't do a bit anything stupid in this game or else he's going to be out the door. Not that I've got loads of goalkeepers. I think we've got like two or three senior goalkeepers and I think one or two maybe at the most under 18 reserve goalkeepers. So I'm hoping in the next youth intake I get another, I get a decent and of a decent goalkeeper there. Right, no no moment, no highlights so far. Sorry, did I say FC Ruin? I meant Corvelli Ruin. URM playing them. It's tight there at the top, isn't it? Leon with 47, Bordeaux with 48, and Strasbourg with 48. These three teams should be in League 1, though, to be honest. They're too good of a club to be in bloody League 2. We like literally the equivalent of a lot of teams in the, in the Premiership have actually been relegated at one point or another, other than those, sorry, like, Man United, Arsenal, Man City been relegated, haven't they? Liverpool, Spurs, you know what I mean? Other than them type of teams, but been relegated since the Premiership started. Crystal Palace, Everton haven't at the moment, I don't think. Burnley, they have. Fulham, got to say, 1-0 down. We are not doing well in this episode. All the way down to 11th now. We've gone from 8th to 11th. Right, let's get back in this game, please. There we go. Passing it around nicely. Go on, bossy. Last young. Right, Galvez out on the right. He's got a decent cross on him. Or he decides to do the short pass. Fortunately, we do not score from it. Zard, you're playing rubbish again. Oh, Zenti, you're not exactly doing well, but I haven't got anybody else I can put on for you. So I'm going to, I don't know. It's, you've been playing rubbish as well. Baz can come on for you. See if we can fire up the players in a minute. All right, goal kick. Passes it out to Diagne. Galvez now. Let's see if we can start something with him. Passes it all the way back to Diagne. 1-2, gives it back to Galvez. Kofi, doing a bit of passing here, trying to keep possession. I think we're just waiting for the right opportunity. Good ball. Navo should have done better with that. Hold on. There we go. Oh, we got a penalty. We'll just let it go in. Right, penalty awarded. Who's taking it? Kofi to take the penalty. Hopefully he'll score, get us back in the game, even though we should be beating him. Let's get in. I thought he skied it then. I thought, flipping out, typical. But no. Right, see if we can keep this draw, or hopefully, I mean, you look at the stats, we should be... We should have had two goals. Oh, oh, okay. I thought they were going to score from a free kick then. They got the ball though. No, at least to nothing. With the free kick, crosses it in. Unfortunately, it didn't connect properly. Nabo, get in. Go on, Nabo. Nabo with a G at the start. Nabbed us the winner. But a bunch. Right, there you go. I'm not too happy about it because we should have beat them anyway. So it's just, it was an expected win. We only just managed to do it though. So at least, at least it showed we had a bit of fight in us. But yeah. Anyway, you'll see me in a sec with the next match. So we're now playing a JCO away, or a JCO, I don't know how you pronounce it. I need to do my research before I start an episode, I think. But yeah, we've got we've had a few injuries, so that's why you're seeing a bit of a swap around there. Bastian's own, he's not going to be able to play the whole game. He's, he got injured for a few days. Basically, Costa's in for Galvez, he's injured. For Tarzan to play on the right because Carcenti's injured, and whoever, I can't remember his back. They're both injured. Pizard's still on the left. And then we've got Van Fatar's position up here. So let's just see how we get on here. No idea how we'll do in this game. I'm hoping it's a game we can win, but we'll see. We are just behind a JCO in the league. So hopefully we can leapfrog past them if we win this. Get back into eighth position. That loss to Strasbourg really did affect us. We were at a, at a bit of momentum, I think, before that. Oh, great ball. Unlucky oh, by Vaz. I think he was offside anyway. Tackle. Oh, good save as well. Pop on with the save or pop out. I still haven't figured it out. Like I said, let me know if you're from Poland. Also, anybody watching this episode, if you know of anyone that has like a so show yellow home shirt in a 3XL or a 4XL, preferably, any websites, any French based mystery box suppliers or something like that, can you just like 
let me know in the comments section. I've emailed a few today because it would be good to be happy to actually wear the Socho home shirt, but like I've seen on I've seen how much they're going for at the moment and it's just ridiculously overpriced. I'm not bothered if it's 10 years old. As long as it's a Socho home yellow shirt, that's all and in a 3XL preferably or a 2XL at a stretch. I it probably just about fit me a 2XL. Depends on the uh, the supplier. I, I usually prefer to go for a four XL just to be on the safe side. But unfortunately, I'm a big guy, and I don't. I think a lot of these football clubs don't have certain shirts in certain sizes. For example, Cadbury Athletic, the team I'm going to go and see live next next season. I want to buy a home shirt for for their games, but they've only got to a size large. So I'm, I need to get in touch with them to see if they'll do a three or four XL for me or something. But they probably won't be able to. But 1-0 up, because I was yapping away, I didn't even bloody see the goal. So here's the goal again. The time. There we go. Little tap in by... Sorry about everyone. He's yapping away. But yeah, 1-0 up. Don't know what Drame did there. Though. Oh, poor finishing by them, luckily. Right, so we're coming up to the end of the first half. 1-0 up. Oh, I was thinking we'd, we'd overtake a JCO in the lead, but we, we won't by the looks of it. Right, Pizzard. Good ball. Still got possession, though. Time. Trying to keep possession here by the looks of it. Trying to wait for the perfect opportunity. Pizzard with the goal there. Get in. 2-0 after 58 minutes. I think it's safe to say that we're going to win this game now, I think. Famous last words, I know. Right, Viltar with the free kick. Is this going to be the dot on the exclamation mark here? Oh, nearly. Still got the ball, though. You never know what might come out of this. Viltar having another crack, is he? No, passes it. Doesn't lead to anything. In Viltar's pretty good at free kicks. Corner, headed out, straight in the goalkeeper's hand. I'm quite looking forward to the rebattlash. I know it's. I know everyone's saying it's a weak card because you've got but I think, personally, WWE needs it. I know the main just put the title on Damon Priest, but the title on him. They need to put Raw's title on him and give him a long run while the fans are going crazy for him. You can always put it back on Damien Priest in like six months' time or something. You, you go watch WWE Live and the two most over people at the moment is Cody Rhodes. Sorry, free. It's a CM Punk. When, if, so, if CM Punk's healthy, it would be Cody Rhodes, CM Punk and then Jay. So, you know, Sami Zayn's very over, Kevin Owens is very over, but... They're not as over. Like everyone loves doing the dance, the Jey Uso dance. I personally did it when I went to see WWE in, in Birmingham. So, yeah, Jey Uso needs... They need to put the title on him now because the momentum's building, building, building. It's get, It's got to the point now where the crowd... I know they're not wanting to change their plans, but especially under Triple H's reign at the moment, that was more of a Vince McMahon thing to, to, just to quickly do something for the sake of it. But, yeah, definitely need to put the title on Jey Uso. If they don't do it at Backlash, they need to build it up. Like, Jey Uso gets another shot maybe in a month or two, and then beats him. So they can do a lot of slow build, but not too... He needs to be the main baby face on Raw, basically. If Cody's on SmackDown, Jay needs to be the main main good guy on Raw, other than CM Punk, obviously. But I think he's even more over than CM Punk. I, think, I feel like CM Punk's going to... After the Drew McIntyre feud's done, I feel like CM Punk's going to be a heel, a heel anyway. So we'll, we'll just have to see. Anyway, right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we've got a very big game ahead of us now. We are playing Leon. We've had a few injuries, Bastion being the main one. So Bossy's in as left back. We've got in the centre of defence with Diagne. Let's have a quick look at him. Perfectly capable central defender. Specs back. So uh, that's about it, really. So we're going to be a little bit not as good on the left side of defence. But he is capable of playing there. He, that's his natural position. Even though the last couple of games he's playing the centre back, we'll just see how it goes. I think this will go the same way, if not worse, than the Strasbourg game because Leon is a better team and a better club than Strasbourg. So we'll just have to see how we get on. We're playing at home, so that might help us in some way. You never know. They're currently second, one point behind Strasbourg, Bordeaux's third. We're currently now eighth, a couple of points away from a chaser. First highlight goes to us, which is quite which is quite positive to see. Get in. I knew that was going in as soon as that floated in. Bizarre with the header, 1-0. Amazingly, we're winning. I need to give praise there, to be honest, because I wasn't expecting us to be winning 1-0 at the moment against Leon. Oh, what a ball there. I don't know what they're... I don't know. We should have buried that. We need to take our chances in this game. Probably not going to get many of them. Right, Galvez has suffered a pull. Right, we'll just leave him for a bit. Let him carry on. He'll probably be fine in a minute. Don't want to take him off unless I have to, especially this early into the game. I feel like the highest position we can get is seventh this season because, as it all observed, they've got like 45 points. So even if we win this game, we've got, we're nine points behind seventh place as it is so we won't be getting european football i think top 10 i'll be happy with top 10 any anything else is a bonus but here you go leon coming into the second half strong we are defending well though right goal kick to us yeah passes it to bossy oh bizarre what are you doing i'll let you off here. you did score the goal for us i feel like leon's just like gonna score any second now you go offside luckily good composure though by him right corner to us 
that annoys me. <laughs> Two nil. Come out of nowhere, that did. Leon looked like they were going to score. We've managed to extend our lead. I'm absolutely shocked by this result. I was not expecting this. It's a good surprise, though. Not a bad one. Now, a sensible person would have took off the tar, put a defensive midfielder on, and then just packed the midfield to just, you know, are not the best when it comes to tactical decisions. But we're still winning 2 0, so we're doing well. All right. Moisbeck, you need to come on. But Lang Langius, I think he's making his debut. I might be wrong. Oh, no, he has played before. All right, Bossy with the throw-in. Can we get another one? Oh, with the box as well. Oh, my. All right, so there's going to be a penalty, everyone. Come on, Kofi lines it up. Get in. 3-0. Absolutely shocked by this result. Well done, lad. Fair play. Yeah, was not expecting that. Oh, God, we're playing Paris FC next. Another tough team. They're coming thick and fast. This episode, we played Strasbourg, Lyon, and now Paris FC. Right then. I'll be back in a sec with the final game of the episode against Paris FC. So we've got the last game of the episode now versus Paris FC. They're currently fourth in the league, so they are a very tough team to beat by the looks of it. We've got De Costa as right back. Bossy's in centre defence. Galvez is playing as left back for some reason. He can play there, but yeah, I don't know why we just dump Bossy in there. But anyway, Drummond and Viltard in the midfield as usual, and then the usual front four. So let's just see how we do. I think the players will be ecstatic after that. Leon result. Hopefully it will give him the confidence to beat Paris FC, but you know what it's like on Football Manager. Because we beat Leon, I expect us to lose this game now. Consistency is never a strong point on this game. But yeah, we're nine points behind Paris, Paris FC at the moment. So uh, I'm not saying math mathematically it is possible if we beat Paris FC today, it will make it a little bit more possible, but the likelihood is we're not gonna we're not gonna get in the playoffs this year this year. But like I said, we're doing well. We keep up with the progress then next season. I don't think we'll have teams like Bordeaux and Strasbourg and Lyon, for instance, to contend with. So I think it'll be a little bit easier for us to get promoted next year. I say this, but we you just don't know, do you? Yeah, Anthony. There we go. Nice bit of passing going. What a ball. Get in. Go on, Drame. Rare goal for Drame. With this win we'll be seven points behind Troyes now in the playoffs. We just gotta keep Winning really and hope for the best. Good ball. Go on, Moisbe. Get him. Kofi. How many goals he's got for this season so far? He's got 18 goals for the season now. What, where are we at the moment? Yeah, we're in March. Let's have a quick look. Let's see. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be doing this in mid game. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight games left. Let's have a look at who is in the relegation battle in League 1. Yeah, so see, look. Lorient, Gunchev, and Clement. I feel like they are good teams, but they're not like Bordeaux, Lyon, and Strasbourg. So, and then you've got Reims. There's no, like, big surprises. So, unless there's, like, the catastrophe and St. Antain go down, Nice go down, I think we're pretty much got a good shot next season of getting it, at least in the playoffs. But we'll see. But it's good that we're winning 2-1, sorry. Stand corrected. I just praised them at the worst possible time there. Yeah, we're doing well there. Seven shots, four on target, 0.99 XG, two goals come from it. So, we've done better than was expected. When you look at the stats. We've had an injury to... Drame, unfortunately. That's a shame. Costa is playing rubbish. I'm going to leave it for now. We'll have to do some defensive swapping around in a minute, though. Still 2-1 after 61 minutes gone. Kofi's injured. That's not good. Our main man up front is injured. I don't know how long for, but we'll soon find out after this game. Come on, let's get the ball back. Hey, come on, boys, bear. Good ball. Can you step up in Kofi? Oh, good ball to Pitar was slightly offside. Let's see if Vaz can step up in Kofi's absence. Free kick, wise back. Pretty, pretty good chance of getting a shot on here. No, not good enough. Right, I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm gonna take the Costa off. So what I need to do is put swap him and him, and then swap him and him, and then the Costa come off, and we'll put on Garriers. Right, oh, we can't take off wise back now. We've used all our subs, so we've just got to get on with it. Hope for the best. Ten minutes to go, plus added time. This is what I like to see. No highlights, just. Let this clock just run out now. Five minutes of added time. We've got a corner. Oh my God, Weisbeck. Oh no. Oh, thank God for that. Oh no, they've still got the ball. No. Oh, come on. Please, come to our rescue. They just allow one of our goals. Yes, get in. Right. Let's just play very defensive. Time wasting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Thank God for that. Get in. Good way to end the episode. Oh God, we've got some injuries. Drammy's injured for three weeks. Kofi's out for two, three, two weeks, sorry. Ugh, last thing we need. Yeah, let's have a look at the fixtures. So, for this episode, we lost... Oh, bloody hell, we're doing way better than I thought. So, we lost to Strasbourg in the first part of the episode. And then after that, we've gone on a four-game winning streak, including wins against Lyon, Paris FC. But next episode, we've got games against Troyes and ASC, Amons. Amons currently bottom or, or near the bottom. Grenoble, Puyol, Rodez. So, so we, we, we've played all the good teams now. So, hopefully, the next... 
I think next episode I'll play one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. I'll play them four games next episode, and then the episode after that we'll play these. So we'll be the season will be done in two episodes time. So by towards the end of the week we'll have season two done and dusted. We've got eight games, so eight times three is sixteen twenty-four. Unless my maths just completely let me down there. But yeah, twenty-four points. So yeah, we've still got a chance to get in the playoffs. We are. It's going to be tough though. We're nine points behind Troy's, but we've, like I said, we've got mostly easy games now. I think all all of them are winnable games for us. They're all against teams that are below us in the league, so it does give me confidence. I mean, Amons and ESC Troy's are probably the ones to watch out for because they're fifth. Oh, sorry, I stand corrected. So after the Troy's game, we've got all easy games. Yeah, on that note, thank you for watching this episode. Thank you as always for subscribing, liking the videos, commenting. Let me know in the comments box if there's anything that you want me to change about the episodes, the pace, the layout, or just let me know if you're enjoying them or not. So yeah, anyway, enjoy the rest of your Monday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.